Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a bridesmaid makeup tutorial. We did one of these um, as a bridal version as well. If you haven't seen that already, then we'll pop a link below. But this look is a little bit more kind of flirty. It's based around kind of mauvey rose tones. So if that is the theme of your wedding, then this will be perfect. This is one of my favourite kind of go-to looks for um, not necessarily special occasions, but just, you know, when I want to feel a little bit more girly and feminine. This is using a lot of my favorite products as well. So I hope you guys like it. This is the finished look and I'm gonna show you how to recreate it. So first of all, I'm using a primer and this is really important for big events and kind of all day occasions because you really want your base to last as long as possible. And the one I'm using today is from Marc Jacobs. This is their Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. And it's actually really, really moisturizing. The primer you use will depend more on your skin type than um, just whether or not it's been recommended. I ha tend to have kind of normal to dry skin, so I like using quite moisturizing, kind of um, smoothing primers, and I love that one. And then I'm using one of my favorite foundations, which I actually recommended in a recent top bridal foundations video if you haven't seen that already we'll link that as well this is the natasha denona foundation x in number 30 and this is really nice because it's really high coverage but it looks very natural on the skin it's very kind of moisturizing and dewy perfect for long occasions because it lasts a really long time and i'm applying this using a damp beauty blender which if you don't have a beauty blender already i'd really recommend investing in them they are quite pricey but they are the best way to apply foundations and make them look totally flawless but last a long time and kind of just look really fresh on the skin so you basically run it under the tap you get it all kind of wet squeeze it a few times and then really squeeze out any excess so you want it to feel slightly damp but not still to be kind of giving off water when you squeeze it and you just start in the middle of your face and work outwards because you want the most coverage in the center of your face and then kind of work out um, towards the edges of your face and just tap it's a really natural movement to use beauty blenders you just kind of bounce them on your skin and kind of blend them in at the same time such a nice way to apply your foundation it looks absolutely flawless and then for concealer i'm using my maybelline instant anti-age eraser again this is really really brilliant if you want to kind of brighten up your under eyes it's not amazing coverage if you are looking to cover blemishes i wouldn't recommend this but for under your eyes it's brilliant and it's affordable because it's drugstore so you just apply that directly with a sponge and then I blend it in either with my finger or with the beauty blender. And then I'm using my Collection Precision Contouring Pencil. Again, this is a great drugstore find and I really like this one. This is in number one light because it doesn't look like you're doing heavy contouring like Kardashian style makeup or anything, but it really just gives you a little bit of definition to your face. So I'm doing it under my cheekbones, on my nose just to define my nose a little bit under my chin and down my neck and also on my temples. And then I'm using a little fluffy brush just to blend that in. And then once I've done that, you can see it just adds a little bit of shape back into the face after putting the foundation on. I'm using my YSL Touche Eclat, old school favorite highlighter. And I'm using this just on the top of my cheekbones, down the center of my nose and on my Cupid's bow just to add a little bit of brightness. But I'm also gonna be using a liquid highlighter as well that is a little bit more shimmery as opposed to um, just adding kind of light, which the Touche Cloud does. And this is, again, a brilliant drugstore find. This is from MUA Lux. It's five pounds and it's absolutely brilliant. Like it really is beautiful. It looks really natural. It's a cushion product. Um, and I'm just applying that onto the very tops of my cheeks and onto my Cupid's bow. And again, on the very end of my nose as well. A lot of these products are drugstore and I wanted to do that today as well, especially because if you are buying kind of makeup products, if you want all your bridesmaids to look the same on your big day and you're buying um, makeup products for them to use, obviously, you know, you might not have a huge budget to spend. So there's a lot of really, really good budget products you can find on the high street. So I'm not gonna set my foundation just yet. What I'm gonna do is spray it with a little bit of the Elizabeth Arden eight hour miracle hydrating mist and I like to do this again if I am doing makeup for an all-day occasion I really like to layer up my makeup and wait a little while for it all to kind of set in so I'm going to spray a little bit over the face and then I'm going to do my eyebrows before I go back in with my powder products so for my eyebrows I'm using my eyeshadow palette from Isla this is in the shade medium but you can get it in light and dark but it's actually again if you're buying this for a few girls to share the medium one is great because it comes in two different colors that you can use to kind of create your kind of right brow color and I'm using a slanted brush I'm just brushing up my brow hairs 
filling them in um, where I need to and then I am going in with my brow tamer which is also part of my collection for Eyelaw and I'm using the clear brow gel today because I don't want too bold brows for this look and I'm just kind of brushing them upwards and outwards to set them into place. Then back onto my face, I'm going back with my Hourglass Blusher in Euphoric Fusion. This is the most beautiful kind of mauve toned blush. And I wanted this whole makeup look to be very kind of rosy, kind of mauve tones, really, really girly and feminine, um, but still really, really beautiful and quite subtle at the same time, but still there's like a nice um, theme to it all. So you'll notice the um, cheeks, the eyes and the lips all kind of really blend in well together. So I'm just applying this with a little fluffy brush. Absolutely love that. It's got a nice kind of shimmer to it as well. And then once I've done that, I'm going in with a powder. And the powder I'm using today is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder, but you can use any powder that's your favorite. I like this one because it does have that kind of slight blurring effect. And it's also not super, super matte as well because I don't love that kind of matte look. And I'm just applying that with a small fluffy brush so that I can be really precise, get under the eyes and kind of really set everything into place going over the eyelids a little bit as well and concentrating on the T-zone where I might get a little bit shiny. And then finally moving on to the eyes, I'm using one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes at the moment. And again, this is an absolute bargain from collection. It's four pounds, so it's 3 dollars Under four pounds, you get six beautiful matte shades and you can create the most beautiful look with this palette. I just absolutely love this. I use it most days. The quality of the eyeshadows is incredible considering the price. So I'm first of all going in with the palest shade just as a base color and really um, building that up on the eyelid right up to the brow bone as well, um, just as a base. Then I'm using the next color along which is a slightly deeper kind of matte, taupey kind of brown color. And I'm using that all over the lids. Then I'm going in with the next color which is a pinky rose color and popping that all over the lids as well just to add that real pink base then i'm going in for the second darkest color and adding a little bit of depth and definition to the crease of the eye using a fluffy blending brush and just really working that into the outer third of the eye and then into the crease as well and then lastly i'm adding a little bit of depth using the darkest color with the same brush and kind of working that into the outer third of the eye and then finally i'm taking a smaller brush and using that darker color again just to add a little bit of definition along my upper and lower lash line and then for mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Fatal. Now this is a really good one if you like volume, but it does tend to be a little bit clumpy. This is the kind of look I'm going for today. Like I want it to be quite um, like messy, kind of textured eyelashes. So I'm using that first, and then I'm gonna come back with false eyelashes once that's dried. And then for lipstick, there are two lipstick recommendations I would really, really love to use with this look. The first one is the one that I'm using, which is Modesty from MAC. But I also really love Syrup for this look. If you want something a little bit deeper, a little bit more mauve that's also really, really beautiful. So I'm using Modesty today. And then I'm going back to my lashes and using my Fleur Loves lashes from my collection with Eyelaw. These are absolutely perfect for bridal looks and for bridesmaids because they are three quarter lashes. They're super easy to apply, but they are also very, very natural looking. They are kind of crisscrossed over so that they get that kind of natural texture. They don't look fake. They're not too long. They're not too heavy. They have an invisible band so that they kind of blend into your lashes. You don't have to be wearing kind of like thick eyeliner to disguise the band or anything like that. They're just really, really natural looking and easy to wear. And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave some requests in the comment section below if you have any requests for future videos on this channel. And I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.